Well, welcome back to the Banjo Shop. Uh, Barry at gourdbanjosbyberry.com. This gourd, I, in a previous uh, video, I was showing how I reinforce the insides of this gourd. And now we have a finished product. This particular banjo is called the fence post. And the reason it's called a fence post is because of the peg head has uh, rusty nails and it's pretty beat up, has some rust stains and everything. And uh, this is just a real popular one. The only thing that's um, smooth on this instrument is the neck. Uh, it has an oil or a, has a uh, linseed oil and wax finish on it. So it's uh, very smooth, easy on the fingers, nothing to worry about. However, the rest of it is pretty uh, gnarly. As you can see, we can turn this over and it's just uh, barn woodish, if you will. And uh, ebony friction tuners, three rusty nails. And uh, then we move down here. This is a pretty rough gourd. This, kind, this is like right out of the uh, right out of the field, very crusty and everything. Has a two inch sound port. And because this gourd is so big, here's my hand. You can see how big this thing is. It has a very deep, has a very deep tone to it. There's a lot of air in there. Uh, a lot of folks will take the banjo like this and tune it down to open D playing G shapes and uh, it, it's really a, a moody kind of banjo, very deep sounding. Anyway, it's got a natural skin goat, uh, natural goat skin uh, for a head. And uh, we've got the tail piece here. This is the one that sort of has the goiter, <laughs> you might say. Uh oh, got something on the bottom here. Hold on a minute. There we go. This is the. Uh, bottom of this thing it's kind of rough in here but then it smooths out real nice along here it's got my own uh banjo string set on here so uh, this will be available shortly on my banjo website www.gourdbanjosbyberry and uh maybe this is something you might like so uh till later